Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenny. What if I told you you could go a popular Instagram account without ever showing your face? Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to create your own faceless Instagram influencer using three AI tools from the avatar to the content. So whether you're building a personal brand, a meme page or niche content, this strategy would save you time and money and put your content on autopilot. Make sure to stick around to the end of this tutorial as I'll show you how to go fast without showing your identity. Let's get started. In order to do this, I'm going to be using a two called sign, so B-Z-I-N-E. So you can just go to dzine.ai and then when you come into the home page, you get a number of things you can do on the home page, okay? So you could build a consistent character, you could generate a video from an image, you could do a lip sync, but for the purposes of this tutorial i'm just gonna be using the consistent character so i'm gonna click on consistent character it brings you to this canvas here so you can decide to choose your character or you can decide to start from scratch okay if you haven't created any characters before all you have to do is to click on build your character and then you can start with a description okay so for description i'm gonna go with this so i do have a description of the person so the name of the person is lila hart so i'm just gonna copy the name and i'm gonna put it in the character to me you can have your own type of description and then in terms of the gender the gender is female okay and then i have some additional information about her she lives in miami um she's a solo traveler and she also talks about remote work tips in terms of her style she rides beachy photos with motivational captions very friendly tone she really values freedom mental health financial independence solo persona is usually between uh 23 to 35 year olds three men of quitting their 95 jokes and i've been hovered down to what's on her instagram um, account so in terms of the style of the character i've got to be using i'm going to choose this because this looks more like a realistic human being and then i'm going to take on jenny's character okay so this looks really good so what we're gonna do is you're gonna select uh, one of these uh two images that we have here so i'm gonna go with this lady here and i'm gonna click on start training right now our character is ready so i'm gonna click on use inconsistent character so we have some images here ready for us so as you can see it's giving us the description and everything based on the initial prompts i give to it so the next step is to create some scenes so we'll ask an instagram influencer who focuses on traveling are there a number of things that you usually post on your social media feed maybe an example of a scene could be um you waiting at the airport so for instance i'm gonna come in here and i'm gonna say alila is waiting to catch her mixed flight at the airport okay she has her seat cases with hair and because i'm using this for instagram um i bb i'll go for the aspect ratio of uh, one uh one is to one but let's say i'm probably gonna go with this say because i'm doing this like youtube i'll keep it to 16 by 9 but if you're on instagram you'd i really want to use an aspect ratio of one is to one okay so let's see it's 16 by 9 from now uh we can just select the one we want from here so i'm gonna select this one and then i'm gonna click on uh generate okay so our image has been generated for us so this is the first one she's at the airport waiting to catch her flight and then this is the other one yes yeah, so this image is a bit wonky so i'm gonna select this image um this is the image i'm gonna be using and then in terms of the scene i'm gonna also change it let's say as an influencer you're probably are going to be doing something else let's say she's at a beach so maybe i'm gonna change wearing a blue floral top and white pants to wearing a uh, beach wear okay and then i'm gonna change the scene so I'll say uh, Layla is at the beach, a sort relaxing after a full day of time the city okay so let's try this out again and let's see so i'm gonna click on generate and let's see what we get okay so we have the other image also generated for us so let's see it's actually representative of exactly what we asked it to do so it's showing us mila who is at the beach resort she's relaxing she's happy she's smiling and um, we have another photo of her here all these photos look really good and they all look exactly like the image rebuilt okay now let's have a different one uh let's have another scene where she's at the bar okay so i'll say a nice dinner at her and then in terms of the action i'll see lida is at the restaurant 
having dinner with a few friends she met. So I'm gonna click on generate and let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have images generated of she sitting at a restaurant with a few friends of her that she made. Uh, let's see, this is also another image that was also generated. So ultimately, all these images are good. But I do understand that sometimes as an influencer on Instagram, you may want to have videos instead of just static photos. So in order to create videos, there are multiple ways to do so. But in Zine, you can also do that as well. So to create a video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this and I'm going to put this on the canvas. And I'm going to come into the AI video tool and I'm gonna select the model I want so you can select uh, clean 2.0 you could select clean 1.6 pro you could select clean 1.6 standard I really depends on what you want and in terms of the real I'm just gonna use this frame because that's sort of um, landed with and I'm not gonna have any end frame and then you can really describe what you want okay so if you want to push a reel ideally what you would want to do is you want to push the reel you know that the layout of a reel is different from the layout of like a static post so what you can do is there are multiple pages you can do so you can decide to like call the photo or you can decide to sort of generate one other consistent character in a form of a 9 to 16 layout so maybe we should do that first so because you want to generate a reel we're gonna come back to the consistent character again and what we are gonna do is we're gonna select the layer again and this time around we are gonna come into and select 9 by 16 and we are gonna use the similar points we use so maybe if we want to like generate a video of Lila at a bar with her friends and say that she's at the bar with some friends she made and I mean, in terms of her attire maybe we could change her attire to something say maybe pants and a cute blouse okay and then i'm gonna click on generate yeah, so this has been generated for us as you can see we have the photo of she sits by the bar with her friends so what we have done to do is we're going to select this one so i'm going to double click on this so that i can drag it onto the frame in here and there are multiple things you can do one thing i like about this particular tool is that you can actually extend the background of this particular photo so in order to do so what you can do is you can click on ai editor and you can click on generative expand and what this will do is it's gonna expand this for you i do know that we are posting this on easter films we're just gonna still keep to a 9 by 16 and what we are gonna say is you can decide to describe the content in the image but i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna click on generate and you'd see the output would be that the photo would be expanded to fit the entire frame that we have here we are not expanding nicely for us so i'm just gonna double click on this and so this looks really good so the next step is we want to generate a video because as an influencer you would want to i believe generate a video which you could post on instagram Brown. So I'm gonna click on AI video and in terms of the image I'm gonna use this as a start frame and in order to know what video to generate you'll need to describe exactly what you want the video to be about. So I'm gonna say Aunt Leela at the bar with friends having a great time discussing travel okay and then I'm gonna click on uh, you can select the duration so duration I'm gonna take uh, five seconds it could be 10 seconds to be honest in terms of the model I'm gonna use the Queen AI 1.6 model so that looks good I'm gonna click on generate okay so our video has been generated I'm gonna play it and so that we can see all right so this looks really good all right now let's see um let's try the lip sync theme trial okay so if we want here to like um be talking as well and saying something while they have the discussion it can also include the lip sync as well and so to pick a face we want to pick this face uh so she said that either one we want to be talking in here so we're gonna apply the lip sync to her and in terms of the voice we're gonna include a female's voice in this case we say britney and then we're gonna enter the dialogue in here exactly what we want her to say. So I'm gonna say I am really enjoying this city. And then I'm gonna take on Jemaisa Play Audio. Her speech is 2.4 seconds in total. So I'm gonna play this out so that you you have an idea of what it looks like, okay? So now I'm gonna click on generate. So the lip sync is ready and let me play the outputs so that you have an idea. I am really enjoying this city. 
this looks really good. Okay, so that is it for today's tutorial. Just a quick recap. In this tutorial, we generated our character. After building our character, we generated a video of our character and then we applied the lip sync functionality. All using one tool, guys. So let me know, try it out, and tell you to try it out. And let me know in the comment section below how it goes. But that is it for today's tutorial. I already do have other videos, other tutorials on how to create animated stories like this one, generate videos using AI, like what I just did in this tutorial. I'd encourage you to watch those videos as well and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. But for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.